Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on the uh, highest common factor, uh, HCF and GCF and also LCM and LCD and we've got some ratios as well. Now this is from a, a, a practice uh, paper for IGCSC exam. Now we've got three numbers, 135, 180 and 225 and we're supposed to find the highest common factor or the greatest common factor for this for these three numbers and also to find the lowest common multiple or the lowest common denominator for these three numbers now the second question says given that x to y sorry x x to y is six to five and the y to z is four to five we're supposed to find the ratio x to y to z in the simplest integer form so in effect we do not need any fractions at all in the ratios right now for the first one if we arrange the three numbers in columns as we got here and if for each number if we add up now if we start from two which is the first prime number clearly we can see that two is not a common factor for all three and then if we add the the digits for each of these numbers for instance five plus three plus four will give you nine and nine is a multiple of three. So it's, uh, um, now this one, again, nine is a multiple of three, and nine is a multiple of three. So all three numbers have got three as a common factor. So if we now divide by three, we end up with uh, 135 divided by three with 45, divide 180 by three, we get 60, and divide 225 by three, we get 75. Now the same process again, uh, add the digits, for the numbers and again we find that the sum of the digits are all multiples of three therefore three is a common factor for 45 60 and 75 we then divide all three numbers by three individually so we get um divide 45 by three we get 15 divide 60 by three we get 20 and divide 75 by three we get 25. now clearly uh, 20 is not a multiple of three so we try five, which is the next prime number. Um, because the numbers end in five or zero, so each of these numbers here is a multiple of five. So divide by five, we get, if you divide 15 by five, we get three, divide uh, 20 by five, we get four, and divide 25 by five, we get five. Now, the, this last line with the, with the numbers in green, they have not got any factors in common. So we stop there. So our highest common factor will be the numbers in red, which is three times three times five, and that gives us 45. And that's, that's our HCF or the GCF. For the LCM or LCD, we then multiply the highest common factor times the numbers left at the very bottom there. So it then becomes uh, 45 times three times four times five, and the answer is 2,700. And that's the LCM or LCD for our three numbers 135, 180, and 225. For question number two, the ratio uh, x to y is 6 to 5, and ratio of y to z is 4 to 5. Now, clearly, from this here, now y is 0.8 of z, or z is 1.25 of y. Okay? So, bearing this uh, requirement in mind of the integer requirement in mind if you multiply uh, that by 6 by 10 and 5 by 10 we end up with 60 to 50 uh, because z is um, 1.25 of y if you then multiply this by 1.25 we end up with 62.5 but this is a fraction we don't want that so we don't multiply uh, each of these numbers here by 10 again and that gives us this one here okay so uh, we don't have 600 by 500 sorry x to y to z then becomes 600 to 500 to 625 that to simplify if I divide by 25 I end up with x to y to z as 24 to 20 to 25. 
I hope all that makes some sense. Please, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.